You know, a lot of people are wondering right now, how is the NBA, how are they going to start up again? Is there a way? Some people have proposed that maybe there could be a bubble city, a place like Vegas where all the players can get together, they can all stay in the same hotel and play that way. I don't know if that's an insane idea or not, and maybe do it without crowds. Do you see anything like that happening in the NBA soon? I don't have an answer. I wish I had an answer for you. You know, but kudos to all the, the league commissioners and guys that are running the league for having the balls to say, you know what, I care about the players and I care about the fans. This thing's going to spread like this. We don't want it, want it to, you know, get out of control. But as a player, I don't think I could could, could have a, a great impact without fans. You So the fans are, if you're playing, uh, the fans are that crucial to your experience as a player. Yes. Yes. And, you know, for me, it's not all about the fans. Like, I just used to pick two or three people. So when it was in L.A., Jack, Adam Sandler, Denzel, and then I'd pick a father and a son to just look at. Because my dad used to always take me to the game and be like, you see that guy right there? And you see his son? He paid all his damn money. Make sure you put on the show. So, uh, like, yes, fans are very important. Like, if I go to the game and saw you there, oh, I'm going to be like, hey, Conan's here. He's not here to see you. Throw me the goddamn ball and watch me go to work. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I would have that impact on you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you might, if you saw me, you might say, hey, who's that lady? 